Hi, and welcome to Project Settings. My name's Eve. Um, Beyblades are cool, signs are cool. Making a Beyblade inspired sign should be really cool. So real quick, my uh, godson, I think that's how you say it, my godson is having a big party and we're going to make him a sign for his room. It basically is going to say, this is my room. And I used the font from the Beyblade series and printed some out. We're gonna transfer that to some plexiglass that I have here. I think this is milky white plexiglass, but you can do this with any rigid white material that you can cut. And it's gonna be on a back drop, a black backdrop. I had a piece of leftover black um, flight case plastic. Again, this can be a black painted wooden frame or anything else. Anything you can cut nicely with a bandsaw or a coping saw. And everything's gonna be trimmed off with this metal strapping. Because metal is cool and boys room signs need to have a little bit of oomph. So we're gonna make it like that. Here we go. Using some simple spray adhesive, I attached all the letters to the plexiglass before cutting them out with the bandsaw. Move the letters from the plexiglass, you're left with a bit of sticky residue. And one of the ways I found to get rid of this is WD-40. It really just dissolves the whole thing. You leave them out for a few minutes and the WD-40, <laughs> WD-40 kind of evaporates away. Since this sign is designed to look like the Beyblade logo, I wanted it to have a black border around that had the same kind of shapes. And so I laid the letters out and then I traced about a centimeter around and tried to add the curves to make it look like a Beyblade. This was then also cut on the bandsaw. And after a final layout of the letters, it was resin time. I mixed up some five minute epoxy and put a few dabs on the back of each letter before I put it on to the plexiglass.
this metal strapping is meant to keep cables attached on the ground if you're laying electricity or stuff like that. So it kind of bends quite easily, you can hammer it down into a shape and that's exactly why I chose it for the banding around this. You can form it around almost anything with a pair of pliers or in this case the hardcore version using a hammer and a vise. And voila, it's finished. Uh, as usual with me, it's last minute because tomorrow afternoon is the party and I still have to go get him some Beyblades to actually go with this Beyblade uh, room sign. But uh, I'm hoping he's going to like it. Um, I at least enjoyed making it very much. So uh, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something because this is quite simple to do. You, you don't need a bandsaw for this. You can do it with a small coping saw. Um, I used five minute epoxy, but you can use super glue. Um, it's just the basic concepts of like how to make a very quick and easy sign. Hola, it's... And voila, it's... Get him some like... What's that? I don't know what it's I don't know what this is called. Uh, and the whole thing is going to get sort of connected with this. Um, so making mm, <clears throat> Hi and welcome to Project and Things. So thank you very much for watching. If you like these things I do, then please consider subscribing. Should be a button to do so below. And also here and here are videos all about making stuff. So thank you, till next time. Bye.